Hello again, everyone, and uh, this is Sean, and welcome back to another one of my uh, traditional watch shaping videos. Uh, thank you for watching. And um, today I'm going to be uh, featuring a, another product from uh, True Fit and Hill. It is uh, the sandalwood scent. Uh, yes, very uh, pleasant scent, very luxurious. I've taken the liberty of shaving with, with this uh, before, prior to the uh, filming of this video. And it's really great. But uh, I'll share the experience with you nevertheless. And um, for the pre-shave oil, what else than uh, the one from True Fit and Hill? Yes. And it would be most appropriate to use uh, the Sandalwood Aftershave Balm from the same brand. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I'm going to be featuring a different kind of a razor during this video. It's the Merker Future. And what's special about this uh, particular piece is that uh, you can uh, adjust the settings with uh, one being uh, the most mild to six being the most aggressive. But um, for the uh, purposes of this video, I'll... Uh, Keep the setting at the uh, middle range, three. So as you can see here, there's a, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's a marker up at the top and the numbers dis are displayed below. And I just uh, place the marker above uh, the number three. And uh, inside of this uh, razor is a uh, fresh blade from, uh, Mercur. Yes, not only do they uh, manufacture uh, razors, but uh, blades as well. So I thought these would go hand in hand together. And uh, the shaving brush. I've uh, featured this before. It's the uh, Yaki uh, synthetic that I bought from uh, the Henri et Victoria website. Okay, so there you go. And... Uh, Let's uh, get started and uh, have some fun. So I rinse my face with hot water. I'll go ahead and uh, apply the oil. So I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. Yes, it's safe to say that uh, we're, we're now in the midst of the uh, second wave of this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So, uh, if you feel you need to get tested, if you're getting uh, experiencing any, any symptoms, please do so. And as always, uh, be sure to uh, keep wearing your masks. Yep, I know I do. All right, so. Yes. Oh, smells incredible. It's nice and creamy. Mm-hmm. The way you want it. Okay. So just go ahead. Start to, to lather up. Prepare the lather. That should suffice. All right. And I'll uh, take my lovely mug here and whip up the lather in this. And 
and it's already turning nice and thick. Yes, I find this this synthetic brush uh, has a lot of water retention. So far, I haven't had to uh, use uh, water from the tap for additional uh, condensation. But maybe I'll perhaps add a little bit more cream from the bowl to kind of thicken it up. With this kind of shaving, you always have to make sure you uh, have the right uh, kind of consist consistency with your cream. Okay, well, it's a lot there. Okay, so. We'll go ahead and get started applying the leather to the base. Yeah. This uh, brush here is uh, quite large. It's able to distribute the uh, cream across my very face quite uh, proportionately. There we go. Yes, nice, rich lather. All right, so as always, I shall proceed first pass with the grain. And by the way, I have a four days worth of facial hair growth. And I can say without hesitation, this uh, razor is certainly doing a magnificent job doing uh, wonders for my face.
Yep. I'm just applying the uh, mildest touch. And already it's just, the razor's just mowing down this uh, hair like a lawnmower with grass. Oh yes. Yeah, this uh, sandalwood tint is actually quite pleasant. I know I mentioned in uh, a couple of my uh, previous videos that I'm not much of a sandalwood kind of a person, but however, with this from True Fit and Hill, yeah, I could um, easily shave with this day by day if I had to. Yes, uh, Trippin Hill. It's a luxury brand out of the United Kingdom. And their creams uh, have such incredible fragrances. This could actually be my um, my most favorite kind of a scent from True Fit and Hill yet, because uh, it's it's really pleasant. Yeah, yeah, it smells masculine. Yeah, it's not too overpowering. And I must say this uh, Mercury Future is doing an amazing job. Right there. First pass done, uh, yeah, nice and smooth, although um, I'll definitely uh, do um, two more passes, maybe even uh, three, three more with uh, a clean pass at the end, doing a buffing pass with a, a lower setting. All right, so I'll go ahead and rinse off and uh, apply the uh, second set of lather.
All right, so here we go. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is uh, this brush right here is my favorite synthetic. I have a couple of others, but uh, this one distributes the uh, cream very well. And the brush is large, which makes it even more convenient. Right there. Okay. So so I'll get a second pass cross screen. Yes, by the way, this uh, razor here, it's the satin finish. There's also one available in chrome. Now, I'm trying to become more non-judgmental in my everyday life. However, I must say that uh, German engineering rocks. Yeah, this is a razor here, manufactured in Germany, as well as the eraser. Yeah, superb. Yeah. Speaking of German engineering, I just bought, purchased a uh, 2019 Volkswagen Jetta last week. It's the Comfort Line model, the most basic kind out of all the uh, Jetta trims. Yet, even that, wow, incredible. Smooth ride. Very uh, fuel efficient car. My girlfriend loves it too. We call her Big Red. <laughs> You still have this on setting three.
So for those of you who have not, uh, who's, who've never watched my uh, videos before, I live in uh, the Canadian province of Ontario and uh, Uh, almost mid-October and around this time we uh, celebrate our Thanksgiving unlike uh, our American counterparts who celebrate it at the end of November but uh, it's still celebrated very much in the same way with turkey stuffing Cranberry sauce, yeah. Okay, so second pass done. Yes, feeling more slick now, and uh, I'll go for the third pass. Let's go against the grain. Lots of cream. Mm -hmm. So I think for my third pass, I'll lower the setting to two. I don't want the razor to be too rough against my skin. And uh, I'll actually do uh, a fourth pass, just a, a cleanup pass using the uh, buffing technique. Still have a lot of cream left to use, so it's such high quality cream, why waste it?
Well, I do um, actually want to admit that uh, this razor here was a birthday present from my girlfriend. So I want you to thank her for buying this for me. Much appreciated. Coming along very nicely. Now, True Fit and Heal uh, shaving creams can be a bit on the pricey side. I uh, bought mine here from a local barber shop. It's for Thirty-eight dollars, thirty-eight Canadian dollars. Just, I would say, maybe roughly thirty dollars U.S. or fifteen British pounds. Well, they are looking nice and slick, although there are still a few uh, rough spots. I'll go over those with my uh, fourth pass. So I'll just take all the remaining cream that's in my brush Slide against my face, rub it around. And uh, I'll just go ahead and change the setting on the Mercury Future to one, the lowest. I'll just quickly, this is how you, I employ the uh, buffing technique. Just quickly scrape it cheeks. Like using very quick motion, but Quick but uh, very gentle motions, applying uh, as little pressure on your face as possible.
It's almost like uh, coloring with uh, pencil crayons. <laughs> Yeah, I can understand why uh, these adjustable erasers can be popular because you can adjust the set settings, obviously, and uh, they're built to last a long time. I think that's good enough. Yes. Nice. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and uh, quickly rinse off. Very nice and smooth, very impressive. Yeah. Yeah. I give this uh, razor very high marks, as well as the cream. Yeah, very nice and smooth. Yep. Okay, so to wrap this up, I'll go ahead and apply this, the uh, sandalwood shaving uh, aftershave balm. There we go. It's marvelous. Okay, so do you have it? I give these products very high uh, marks, uh, not only for their uh, quality, but um, for their amazing uh, scent. So, um, 
To summarize, this is what I've uh, used today. The uh, True Fit and Hill Sandalwood Shaving Cream. Yes, Dynamite. The uh, True Fit and Hill Pre-Shave Oil. The uh, True Fit and Hill Aftershave Balm. The uh, Merker Future. And uh, Future, by the way, how they spell it this is F-U-T-U-R. There's no E at the end. So here it is. Got all the adjustable settings for your comfort. And last but not least, the uh, shaving brush, Yaki shaving brush from Henri F Victoria, which is synthetic. And yes, of course, the uh, shaving bug. All right, so um, there you have it. Uh, wonderful shave. I uh, certainly had fun producing this video uh, today. Uh, I hope you enjoy this as well. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, have a wonderful day. Have great shaves wherever you are. And stay safe. Uh, take all necessary uh, precautions from the uh, looming coronavirus. And uh, I'll just uh, end this video by saying uh, peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.